Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Intel CEO keynotes AUVSI Exponential 2017. Airbus creates new startup Airbus Aerial. And Parrot creates new division. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. As opening sessions go, it was an eye-opener. Intel CEO Brian Cranich took to the stage to deliver the show's rousing opening keynote address during AUVSI's Exponential. During his presentation, Cranich pronounced and explained why, quote, data is the new oil, and went on to introduce upcoming commercial drones that demonstrate tremendous potential. Included in the keynote was a real-time demonstration of an Intel Falcon 8 Plus drone doing a bridge inspection. Showcasing an automated bridge inspection with Intel Mission Control software, this new application will facilitate flight planning, management, and post-processing. Intel is also working with other leading software providers to similarly streamline solutions to apply insights from images taken from drones tackling challenges facing a range of industries. The Intel Falcon 8 Plus drone will later this year release a new API framework and defined hardware interfaces so customers can add custom payloads. This will allow commercial operators to have the flexibility to pair the best sensor for the job at hand. Much to the delight of those in the audience, keynote attendees were treated to a drone light show using indoor location technology. The Intel Shooting Star drones are a new type of UAV, specifically designed for entertainment purposes such as festivals and entertainment events. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. AUVSI has announced new members of its board, including a new chairman, Dallas Brooks of Mississippi State University, a sure UAS Center of Excellence, has become the board's chairman. He succeeds John Burke of Airbus, who has served as chairman of the board since 2015. Current directors David Agnew of Mobis Technical Center of North America and Paul McDuffie of Institute were reappointed to the board. The new directors are Nevin Carr, Lloydis, Brian Chappelle, Northrop Grumman, John Coffey, Cherokee Nation Technologies, Brandon Schulman, DJI, and Bobby Sturgill, Rockwell Collins, Brent Clavin, Aviation Systems Engineering Company, and President of AUVSI's Florida Peninsula Chapter will serve on the board to represent the association's more than 30 local chapters. Precision Hawk has opened access to its professional mapping and analytics software, Precision Mappers, for free. By eliminating the cost barrier, operators have the flexibility to bring their own drone and consistently generate value from aerial information. Precision Hawk launched the free version of Precision Mapper at Exponential 2017. British-based drone consultant Consortic has opened a new office in Annapolis, Maryland. The company says the move allows it to be near Washington, D.C., a central East Coast drone innovation hub. This new expansion enables it to work closely with a large client base it has already formed in the U.S. during its first years in operation, such as NBC Television and new prospective clients in the surrounding East Coast territory. ANN and AUVSI, which hosted last week's Incredible Exponential 2017, the largest trade show for the unmanned systems and robotics industry, debuted the first Exponential Innovation Preview just before the show and ANN's live coverage of the event. XIP 2017 is posted at allthingsunmanned.com and on AUVSI and ANN's Airborne Unmanned channels on YouTube. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Airbus has launched its U.S. base and operations of a new commercial drone startup named Airbus Aerial last week at Exponential 2017. With bases both in the U.S. and in Europe, Airbus Aerial's initial business will focus on developing new imagery services. These technologies will leverage the best software and aerospace technology from across the globe to offer actionable data and analysis of information provided by drones, satellites, high-altitude aircraft, and other sources. 
The U.S. based part of Airbus Aerial will be headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, and is led by Jesse Kalman, a UAS industry expert with more than 12 years of experience, including research at Georgia Tech, federal policy at the FAA, commercial UAS at Airware, and advocacy with groups like AVSI. Airbus Aerial Imaging Services targets a range of applications for commercial industries such as insurance, agriculture, oil and gas, and utilities, as well as state and local governments. Parrot has opened up a new division it hopes will fill a segment of the market between their top-end commercial aircraft, which range up to about $11,000, and its hobby drones. Parrot calls the new line Parrot Professional. The aircraft will be more in the price category as popular models from DJI and Unique. In a news release, Parrot says they are built on Parrot's consumer drones but targeted for use by small to medium-sized businesses. Parrot says it has identified commercial activities where its drones can focus on providing efficiency and knowledge to save time, perform better, and generate more revenue. They specifically mention agriculture, construction, and real estate as potential businesses that might employ one of its professional line of UAVs. Recode reports that Parrot is unveiling three new aircraft in its prosumer line, the Disco Pro AG will cost $4,500 and is expected to be available in June. The lower cost Bebop Pro 3D will set you back about $1,100. The third model called Bebop Pro Thermal will carry a thermal camera. The price for that aircraft has not yet been determined according to the report. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.